Hello, my name is Sean Gray, and I'm going to show you how to tie your shoe. Today I'm going to be doing the basket design, which is basically called that because that's how they make baskets, through this pattern. And before I start, I'm going to do some quick terminology. This is a left eyelet, so I'm going to call this L1, and it's going to go in order. This will be L8. And the same thing for the other side, this will be R1, and it will go in order. And this will be R8. And now to begin, you're going to need a shoelace, of course. And mine is a flat yellow lace. doesn't matter what color you use, but I do suggest that you use a flat lace because it just makes the design look better. And if you use any other type of lace, then it's just going to not look as it should. So the first thing that you do is you put the lace into the R1 or L1 eyelet. Then you just make it go straight through to the other side. And then you want to make sure that both sides of your shoelace are even, or at least somewhat even. So, it should be the same amount each side. And now, since I'm using a high top converse, I'm going to skip three eyelets. Now, if your shoe has less than eight eyelets, then you may have to only skip two for this beginning step. And then you'll just like subtract one eyelet from everything that I do. But if you're using converse, high tops then this will be really easy for you so I'm starting off I'm skipping three so I'll be starting off on the L5 eyelet then I just feed the lace through simple as that now what you do after that is you're going to put it in through the L6 eyelet so you just feed that through there and it's simple as that now you're going to bring the lace back over to the right side in the R2 eyelet. And so far it should look like this. Now you're just going to make it go back under through the R3. and repeat what you did until you run out of places to put the lace. After each step, I'll show you what it looks like just so you have a better idea of how to do it. Okay, so now you should have four crosses going across. This part, the other part of your lace that you still have, is slightly different, but overall it's still pretty simple. So what you're doing for this, instead of just going straight across into the R5 eyelet, you're going to be going in a pattern. So you can either choose over, under, over, under, or you can choose under, over, under, over. I'm just going to do over, under, over, under. So bring it over, under, over, under. And then you'll feed it into the R5 eyelet. Then you basically repeat what you were doing on the other side by bringing it under into the R6 eyelet. And now you're going to use the same pattern that you used before. It's going to be over, under, over, under, or if you did the under, over, under, over. So then you will put that into the L2. And then bring it back out into L3. And now it'll look like this. Now you go back up, over, under, over, under. Or under, over, under, over. Into the R7. Make it go under into the R8. And then make it just go back down one more time. And 
in there. What you should have is the basket wheel. Now your shoelaces, they're going to be inside, right underneath the tongue of the shoe. And to tighten it, you just pull on those. Like here, I'll show you where the shoelace is. It's right here. And there. And just tug on that, and it should tighten it. Now, there is a slight variation to this design, and it's that instead of having the bar right here and starting here, what you're going to do is you'd start right here and just work that way. Personally, I prefer the yellow lace design because it's easier to slip into, and the little bar doesn't really make any difference. But the reason why some people prefer this one is just because of that little bar. It basically makes the basket weave more basket weaved instead of having the little bar that makes it slightly different. So these are your two different ways to make the basket weave design.